Have you ever tried to join an online server but couldn't because you had missing mods or had the wrong version of the track or car mods? Or are you a manager of a sim racing league and has to deal with the hassle of answering the same questions? Where can I download these mods and skins? Hey sim racers, in this guide I will show you how to enable a feature in Content Manager that will make it really easy for those who want to join your server to get the missing mods with just a couple of clicks. Welcome to Highness and this guide is part of a new series where I show you how to get the most out of Assetto Corsa with apps and mods like Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, Sol and more. So what you'll need for this guide is to set aside about 30 minutes of time. You'll need the latest version of Content Manager, a working Assetto Corsa server and permission or license to distribute the car and track mods. And as usual, if there are any corrections or updates related to this guide, then I will make the necessary edits in the description of this video and also in the video's information card up the top. By the way, a huge thanks to Joshua VGOS for helping me with this video. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. I'll cover the why, what and how. As someone who loves to join online servers for a bit of fun and as a server manager myself, I often wish that a set of Corsa would just automatically download the missing content. What we'll do is we'll jump into server manager that is part of content manager. The way this works is content manager keeps track of your track and car mods using a unique ID. In particular, it keeps track of the download URL. I'll explain more about this in a minute. All right, there are six phases in this particular guide. Phase one will upload and test your mod files. Before you can add your mod download links to Content Manager to serve them automatically to your drivers, you must first upload them to some place on the internet and also make sure that the links work. So step one is to upload your mod files to your file server. In this example, I've used Mega and step two, test that each mod download link works. So just click on the link and make sure it actually downloads correctly. Make sure that it is downloading the correct file. In the next phase, we need to tell Content Manager where those mod files are hosted so it can send them to your drivers. So in Content Manager, go to Server, select the server from the presets list and I've done that now, here it is right here. Click on Details and tick the box that says here, provide extra details about the server. Put a tick in that checkbox. The reason why we do that is any information that you happen to add in this section here, server description, that will also be automatically sent to your drivers. And also make sure you've selected via ID in name recommended. Make sure you've selected that option. And uh, I'll explain a little bit more on how that works. So what happens is, see there's a details ID right here. IKLL6, that, that ID is a unique ID and that's actually added into your server underscore config ini file by content manager. So the, it, it exists right here once and it looks like this X colon and then that ID. And it also exists down here under CM underscore server. It's listed here under details underscore ID. So, so this version here has the four digit ID and the version up the top here has an extra letter added to it. You can see here, there it's got the C added to the end. So this is how Content Manager keeps track of exactly which uh, details are related to this particular version of your uh, server details. I don't want to go too much into it right now because this is a beginner's guide. If you want to know more about this, then let me know. I can create a separate guide that dives in a little bit deeper. All right, next what we want to do is look for where the section that says download missing content and put a checkbox where it says allow downloading only with the correct password. And what that means is you can usually define a password to make sure that only people with the password can join your server. If you tick this checkbox, what that means is only people with the correct password can download the mods and tracks that are related to this particular server. Okay, now what we'll do is, can you see here how there's a car and track? And right now on this particular server, I've only got one car, which is the Sierra RS500. I've already downloaded this mod from race department and I've already uploaded this mod zip file onto Mega. So what I'll do is where it says share mode, I'll click on this none next to share mode and select download URL. 
and then it shows some extra fields. Now what we want to do is copy the car download URL and paste it right there. See the mega URL and content manager has automatically filled in the version required. And this is important if you want to manage uh, which exact version your people who join your server should have to prevent conflicts and mismatches and things like that. And we'll also do the same with the track. So let's copy the track URL and paste it. Again, we'll select where it says share mode, hit the none, download URL, paste the URL for the track. And in this case, I haven't entered a version required because it hasn't been defined by default by the track itself. The next thing you can do as an option is you can define the download URL for custom skins for each car. So notice that for modded cars, you also can define skins right here. And if you click this tiny little arrow next to skins, it shows all these different uh, skins that belong to this particular entry list. And what I can do is I can actually say, okay, I want car number 18 to have a particular skin URL. So I might put a different skin pack there. And as usual, you have to make sure that the skin URL is valid. If you have one skin pack for all the cars, then you can basically add the same URL for each car or just add it once for one of the cars and then get people to download the one skin pack. I'm going to untick this for now because I don't have custom skins for each car. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. And that's it. So hit the save. And once that's saved, if there's any change, notice how this ID has changed now. It's it's now G2QL. It was I something something earlier on. So that's that's also updated itself. Okay, now that we've clicked the save, and then we click on folder to open the folder that contains the configuration files we need to upload to the server. And we want to select this folder here, cm underscore content as well as these three files, cm underscore wrapper, underscore params.json, and also the entry list and the server config any files. So we select all those and then we send them onto our server. And then once those files have been uploaded to the CFG folder on your server, we'll restart the server. And now we're up to testing. So again, in content manager, let's go to drive and we'll go to online, look for your server that you've just uploaded and restarted. So here's my server that I've set up. It's the Donington Park National Track as well as the Sierra Cosworth. And I always recommend to actually hit the join right now and make sure it runs properly before we delete any files and so on. Okay, now I've already done that. I've already tested that this works without having deleted any files and so on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring up the, the tracks folder and the cars folder, and I'm going to delete them right now. So there's the Donington Park track folder in my Serta Corsa folder. I'm gonna delete it and keep, it, keep an eye on this section here. Delete, see notice that it says here the track is missing and I'll do the same thing here on the right hand side with Ford. All right, so now we've got the track is missing and the car is missing and usually this would stop you from easily jumping into this tr uh, into this server without having to look for the files from wherever and asking people to send them their copy of the download. But in this case, what we're gonna do, click this button here, install missing content. And as soon as I click that, notice what'll happen up here on the top, this little hamburger menu. As soon as I click this, it'll turn green. Notice that it's turning green and let's click on that button and you can see here it's downloading the Donington Park track file as well as the Ford Sierra Cosworth car file. So these two mods will take some time to download. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So this part is pretty standard. It takes it's downloading as quickly as it can from Mega using the link that I provided in the download URL earlier on in the server setup. So the car is almost done. It's finished. Look at that. The car is now searching for content within Content Manager. And there you go. It's found a new car mod. And I'm going to hit the install button to get the installation of the car mod. And off it goes. You notice here on the background here, Sierra Cosworth, it's created the folder and it's almost finished. There you go, successfully installed. All right, so I'll keep that window open because the track's almost downloaded. Another eight seconds left, six, five. All right, and I'll do the same thing. I'll hit install. 
And there's the folder in the background you can see here there it's popped up Donington Park. And as you can see the two files have successfully downloaded and installed and I'll just hit the refresh button right here and wonderful we've got the car and the track installed and all that's left to do is hit join. So just a summary of what we've gone through today. Please make sure that you have permission to distribute uh, these mods because I, basically you're serving these files from your own storage file server, whatever you want to call it. You're actually distributing them to the internet. So make sure that you're allowed to do that, especially if it's a paid mod. Uh, number two, make sure that you test the original mod downloads first because if the mod downloads don't work, then the people that are trying to draw on your server, they won't be able to download them. And make sure that the unique ID of the server underscore CFG INI matches the unique ID shown in the details view. So just to show you again what I mean by that, this is the server underscore CFG. This number is what I'm talking about, this ID X colon and then the rest of it that should match what's in server details that should match this number here obviously right now it doesn't because I haven't refreshed this particular saved version but make sure your version actually matches and if you want to join this particular server that I've set up for the test then uh, I've also included the link to that in the description of the YouTube video and also in a reddit post as well you'll also find a link on race department by the way if you've experienced a lot of value from these kind of mods uh, especially content manager related then please show your appreciation to uh, Ilya by making a donation. Uh, the links are in the description below. Ilya is the genius that has basically revamped a set of Corsa in this kind of way. So it's all his amazing work that's making all this possible. And uh, if you have any questions about what I've covered today in this guide, then yeah, please hit me up with some comments. Thank you for your time and attention and see you in the next one.